Hey Hokie Nation, my name is Kai Young and today this is another Hanging with the Hokies and we have Lindsay Butler here today. Hello. How are you doing after this past week? I'm good, it's been really exciting and hectic. Um, I think I'm just kind of trying to take it in for what it's worth. And yes. Enjoy it. Yeah, can you tell me kind of some of your initial thoughts when you first realized that you won and then just as you've kind of gone so weak and having people on campus and stuff recognize your achievements and all of that? Um, it, was, it was pretty crazy to kind of uh, do that last lap and when I was finishing I had to remind myself like this is a big meet, this is the big meet and you're about to cross the line. Um, but it, it was just a really awesome feeling and really surreal and kind of like Rachel said I had to remind myself like oh my gosh this actually happened and when I got home it's just been a lot of support a lot of people who I didn't really think they even cared that much about track and field came up and congratulated me so it's just been really special. Oh, that was great so can you tell me about in your time at Virginia Tech how you feel like you've grown mentally and physically as an athlete here? Um, there's, there's been a lot of growth. I think um, mentally, uh, there's been a lot of shaping. I think, you know, I thought I knew everything. I thought I knew how to race as a freshman. I thought I had so much experience, but um, even just comparing like, this year's national meet to last year's when I was coming in as like same number one seed, um, just like the, the learning that I've done in the last year, um, was the reason why I won versus, you know, fourth place last year. But physically, I think I'm the strongest I've ever been. I think I've um, been trying to put on that muscle since I'm coming to college. So I think that's what, like, my family notices the most when I come home from break, too. Oh, nice. Um, can you tell me what you're looking forward to most for outdoor? Um, I think just kind of making new challenges for myself. Um, still going to be doing the 8, like indoors, but um, in outdoors they have the 15, so I want to kind of take a stab at that and uh, maybe get better on the lower end doing some 4, so I think um, there's a lot left to be done and that was the biggest thing me and my coach were talking about is staying excited, there's new goals to make. Yeah, it's only the beginning for you. <laughs> so can you tell me what you're studying? Um, I'm in industrial systems engineering. Oh, wow. Like women's STEM. Yeah, so <laughs> what do you want to do with that? Um, I'm still kind of trying to figure that out. Yeah. Um, I did an internship last summer. I have an internship this summer. Um, but I really like what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I really like the professors here. Even some of them are pretty into track, so that's been really cool. Um, but to be determined, there's a lot okay. of opportunities, I guess. Yes. Um, and then, can you tell me, just outside of your sport and school and everything, what you like to do just in your free time? Um, probably hang out with the team. We're all really, really tight-knit. I mean, I live with three people on the team. Um, I don't know, just spend time with them. I mean, they're my teammates. I have to hang out with them, but they are my best friends on the side. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, thank you so much yeah, for hanging you. out with us and answering some questions. Congratulations again. Everybody here is super proud of you. Um, and that is all we have for today's episode.